and in this video i am going to use a new all in one model called z image turbo aio in comfy ui right now on the screen you can see the same scene generated with different models there is lumina another model nano banana pro and z image turbo aio so when you look at them side by side z image turbo aio looks the most natural the tree in the background the road the rain on the ground all of that looks like a real photo in the nano banana pro version you still feel that ai look and if you show that one to someone today they'll guess it as ai in just a second with z image turbo aio it's much harder to tell there are two aio versions on the model page one is fp8 and other is bf16 the fp8 aio file is around 10 gb and is recommended for most users the bf16 aio file is around 20 gb and is for people who want maximum quality and have more freedom so you download whichever you want and save into your comfy ui models checkpoint folder that's the only file you need to run this aio workflow so when you saw the files and version section on the model page you'll also see a file called z image turbo aio workflow json and in this video i'm using a workflow based on that file and i'll show you how i test it with different prompts so this model is tuned for eight steps with cfg1 the author recommends using the res multi step sampler with the simple scheduler at the top you can see the note that this model likes eight or nine steps with cfg1 and that you should use res multi step in the information section you also get suggested resolutions for 2k images and which sizes works best for portrait and landscape so you do not have to guess the resolution it is already written there for you now let me walk you through the workflow in comfy ui the first thing you do is go to the load checkpoint node and select z image turbo fp8 aio safe tensors or the bf16 version if your jeep you can handle it In this workflow I am using two samplers. The base sampler for the first pass is set to around 8 or 9 steps with CFG1 as suggested earlier. Then there is a second sampler after a small latent upscale. That second sampler can be between 3 and 8 steps to add more details. After the second sampler and the upscale the more details have been added to image the floor the road the roof and small things like flowers look more realistic instead of looking flat now let's test some real prompts and see how this model behaves and for the first test i wanted to see how it handles three characters in the same frame with correct hands and correct text So here I used a prompt with three anime style girls in a room. The girl on the left has short red hair and blue eyes, sitting on a stool and holding a card with the word hi. The girl in the middle has long silver hair and red eyes, standing and holding a card with hi in both hands. And the third girl, the girl on the right, has medium brown hair and green eyes. also sitting on a stool holding a high card there are potted plants and a kitchen in the background and the style is anime so first i try 1024 by 1024 and then i hit generate now you can see the result if you zoom in on the hands and the cards the fingers look correct and the high text is written properly The faces are clear and the plants and kitchen in the back are also clean. So when I pulled 
the up scale and the second sampler too hard, the image started to look a bit overprocessed. So here I dropped the steps of the second sampler down to three. That small change helped to add details in the image. And from this test, I would say this model is very good when you have multiple people in one image and it keeps both anatomy and text stable. For my next test, I want you to see if this model can handle a three panel e-commerce storyboard with a beauty serum product. For this one, I set the resolution around 1152 by 1736. So it's more like a tall storyboard shape. And when I hit run, you can see how nicely it creates the three panels. Each panel is clear and the story is easy to read. The product bottle shows up in the middle panel. Let's talk about next example. Here I tried a four panel e-commerce storyboard for a fashion bag. And in this prompt, the same Urban Muse character sees a sleek black leather tote in a city cafe. Then there is a close up of her hand tracing the back texture. Then a shot of her walking confidently down a rainy street with the bag. And finally, a relaxed shot at home with the bag open and items on the table. The model did a very good job at keeping the same character across all four panels. The hair color, face and general vibe are consistent and the bag looks like the same product in all panels. The hands and fingers are also surprisingly clean for this level of details. Moving on to the next example. Here, I want you to test a vertical movie poster. So when I run this prompt, the model gives a very strong poster composition. The central character is clear. The cosmic background has good details. And the title, Eclipse Echo, appears in a bold font at the top. The small director credits and the tagline at the bottom are readable enough for a thumbnail and social media size, which is already very good for a text to image model. And so for the movie poster style layouts, Z Image Turbo AIO does a solid job, especially for the titles and big text. Now let, let's try another example. Here you can see the result looks like a real fashion photo. This is the kind of image where most people would not say this looks AI. It really has that realistic e-commerce or editorial feeling. Then I wanted to push it in a different direction and I tried a classic comic book page prompt. When I tried this with the FP8 AI model, the style looked good but it made a mistake. It sometimes created two supermen instead of one. So I switched the checkpoint to BF16 AIU model and kept the same prompt and generated it again. And with BF16, the layout and two superman problem is fixed. This shows that FP8 is great for most realistic work, but if you run into tricky prompts, like this one, BF16 can sometimes handle the structure a bit better. And for the last test, I went full fantasy and used a prompt for an extreme close-up of a dragon flying through the sky, breathing fire with motion blur on the wings and epic lighting. The result is very dramatic. The head fills the frame. The fire and burst look powerful. And the scales have a lot of details. Clouds and smoke around the dragon give a strong sense of motion. And the city below is barely visible, which adds scale. Here you can really see the details that the model add 
especially after the second sampler and upscaling. So in all these tests, from three girls in a row to storyboards, posters, fashion shots, comic pages and dragons, this one 10 GB AIO model handled everything well. So that's it for today's video. 